Jermaine Dupri addresses some statements he made in an interview about Sexy Red. Um, I thought I should get on here and talk about now that everybody's picked up the story and we see all the little sites and different posts throwing up the comment that I was making to Steve Stout about the industry um, still promoting numbers. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But then acting like the numbers don't matter. And, you know, of course you got the people that don't read or listen that are just hearing me say Sexy Red and they automatically like, oh, JD's just this hater. He an old hater. <laughs> he just a that just be hating. <laughs> um, so I'm not hating on Sexy Red. I, I actually love Sexy Red music. Um, but what I'm saying is, what I was saying is the industry is confused. Now, some people that are, you know, it was, it was one guy was a DJ, I forget his name, that basically was telling me what the numbers were with the streaming. And he was saying, Jermaine, you know, it's, um, she basically did 40 million um, in streams. How you know? So then I said, you know, we was having our conversation and we was like, okay, so 40 million streams doesn't equal to a million of nothing, <laughs> which is crazy, right? You do 40 million streams and you still don't have a million sales and it only equates 40 million streams just for anybody in here only equates to 28,000 in actual sales. And this is what I was actually talking about. I didn't have nothing to do with the artist. I just was saying like, this is the crazy part, right? And all of the people that keep reacting to what I said are saying, Jermaine, you know, you out of touch. You don't know what the f is going on. Um, um, you don't know what the f is going on. You out of touch, blah, blah, blah. And if you knew, you would know that we are in a single selling era and album sales. Don't nobody buy albums and ain't nobody listening to albums. This is what a majority of the comments say. So, I'm my question. I I was I basically started with a basic asking a question like, okay, so if we in a we're in a single selling era, then I started asking people why do niggas make albums? Why are niggas even making albums if this is like a known thing, right? If this is a known space that we're in. Why do people make albums? And then when the artists make an album, why do sites like DJ Academics and uh, I think No Jumper and a couple of the other places, they post the album first week sales. And my question is, what's the message that you're sending to the fans or whoever it is that you're sending this to what's the message that's being sent out when you post first week predictions on artists what's up overlord what's happening now search is saying Divide by two equals 76,000. Um, yeah, but search, that's not the actual number was 28. So I think it's, it's, I think it's 1500 times 28,000.
That's basically the number. Okay, cool. I mean, regardless, I guess, like I said, I'm not. Um, somebody said, search, they think you're calculating Spotify. Re- regardless of what I was saying is, is people like Jermaine, it's a new day, right? It's a new day. It's a new time. And it's funny. It's always funny to me because <laughs> I don't, I'm not a guy that's ever listened to the conversation of the older people and stood on that side of the fence. Um, I've always been a guy that kind of almost went against the grain and did something that nobody else was trying to do. So when talking about this, I'm, I'm actually just trying to... Um, oh, Overlord, you said what? It's not about numbers, it's about impact. Okay, cool. So, you know, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it still is about album sales. Because if it wasn't, these guys would not post this number. And that's the only thing that I'm trying to make people understand. Like, at some point, we got to give up something if we're going to move forward. You know what I mean? Like, ultimately, and this is my question. If the number actually is 40 million streams, why don't people post that instead of saying 29,000 records? (laughs) She said your voice is changing. I'm walking, baby girl. If my voice is changing, it's because I'm walking. Somebody said, wait, numbers don't show impact anymore. Like, see, that's, that's okay. See this, this is what I, this is what I'm addressing. So it's a guy in here. Let me go back down. Let me stop. Pause. Uh, let me see. DJ Dre Lauren. Is that DJ Dre, Dre Lauren? Is that your name? I'm sorry. I don't want to mess it up. But DJ Dre Lauren is here. And he says that numbers don't, let me make sure I'm saying this correctly. Numbers don't show impact anymore. All right. So that's where I feel like the confusion is between the younger generation and the industry because Numbers don't show impact anymore. Hmm. So. Taylor Swift. Um, Drake. Um, shit. I I mean, you know, the people that's at the top of the food chain. Beyonce, they move albums. They be they be still selling albums, and they still sit at the top of the food chain. It's a bunch of people who have hit singles. It is, and if that's what you want in your life, to have a hit single and you know, be cool. But I'm saying, to sit at the top of the food chain. You have to sell albums and you have to prove to be an album selling artist. Hold on, let me see. He's, he said something back. Those are perfect examples. They have songs in the top 10, but only their fan base knows them. 
some of those top songs aren't being listened to years later. All right, so so I'm saying, so DJ, um, I don't want to mess up your name again. I'm sorry. Uh, did I say it right? DJ Dre. I'm going to just say DJ Dre. So, so DJ Dre, are you saying that artists should stop making albums? This is what I'm trying to get to. Okay, Dre Lauren, do you believe that artists should stop making albums if this is something that you guys are actually saying is what's happening. Okay, it's a singles and content error, but I haven't seen anybody say, yes, stop making albums. Okay, so I see one person saying, I think so. Stick to making singles. Texas Heat, if you don't get the f out of here. <laughs> Search, you in here. Search, you think people need to... You think artists... MC Search is in here. You think artists should stop making albums based on... Okay, so search says no, people shouldn't stop making albums. All right. Okay, so if you. Okay, so do you think that? All right, so she shouldn't stop making albums, but do you think that people should stop promoting first week record sales? Okay, so Liz, Liz, you're saying sales don't equate to impact. And that's, that was my point. That was my point behind saying what I said about Sexy Red. Because it's like, if you promote her numbers, it makes her look like she's not hot. If you don't promote her numbers, or you don't even say, this is getting ready, this is her projection, or predictions, or whatever you want to say, you go on with your mind of saying that her record... And what she's doing is what she's doing. Yeah, but we, I'm, Dre, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about, um, because now he said different perspectives. For different generations. I'm not talking. I'm talking about this. I'm talking about right now. In the era that we're in. Why. Do guys. On these sites. Still feel the need. To post. Album projections. I'm trying to read the comments. It's going fast now. <laughs> um, yeah, all that's what I'm, okay. So that's what I'm saying. Thank you. Um, MCB heard said it's an out of date thing. DJ Head, what's up? Okay, it makes the it makes the DJ Head said it makes the public feel a part of the business. Cool. But when you allow them to be a part of the business and telling them that Sexy Red only sold 28,000 copies, you're making them believe because the information that they have prior to and sales in the past, it sounds like it's not a success. And that's what I'm saying. Are we uh, is that is that the message that's being is that the message that somebody's trying to put out? Are you trying to make sure that people believe that it's not a success? Or what's the message?
Okay, you said I am the public. You disagree. What do you disagree with? Okay, that I said, what do I think is important? What I think is important is that I think that we have to, we, I think we have to keep it real and we got to stop lying to make it look cool and let's, let's be realistic, right? So now that I said this, like I said, everybody keep throwing this 40 million streams at me. So that should be the conversation. She did 40 million streams. And you, you as a person, you should figure that out yourself. If you can, if you don't know the business, you don't know. But 40 million streams, whether it's good or bad, sounds a lot more successful than 28,000. That's all I'm saying. And if people saw, oh, 40 million streams, you know, people follow success. People, people gravitate towards success. It's like a TV show on Netflix. When, when Netflix promotes people watching a TV show on Netflix, the goal is to tell you how many people watch the show, right? Once they say, oh, yo, this show is going crazy. We did blah, 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 blah. Everybody been watching it. It attracts you if you haven't watched it. It makes you go and say, oh, shit, I need to check this out. They saying it's going crazy on Netflix. I feel like the music business needs to lean into that. Stop doing, you know. And, and what's crazy is the niggas that run these sites are way younger than me and a lot of people in this chat right now. Is always try to make it seem like older people are going at young young is in hip hop and of in the world of today they stay trying to use the rules from the old school come in the game with all new rules man if it's gonna be a new game Use all the new rules. Because I'm telling you, if you, post, if you post somebody album coming out that's got one of the hottest singles in the club and on the streets and all of this, and that shit say 15,000 predictions, or they projection is to do 15,000, immediately my mind says, damn, that's f***ed up. Now, what do I think needs to happen? I know Dada, you just asked me. I first, 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 I think that, I think that YouTube. Well, let me say this. I have, this is a theory that I have about streaming, because I feel like streaming music. When they first start doing it, it was an experiment, and I think the whole business needs to just stop for a second, and and do and do a rehaul, because. The rules that they put in were rules that didn't nobody know was going to happen. I remember when this shit first started, even like streaming, like even apps on your phone and apps in like on your TV. Right. I remember when they start putting apps on TVs and they used to say that. I mean, I remember people used to be like, man, if you get if you get Apple TV. Um. I'm not going to get direct TV. And if you get direct TV, I ain't getting no Showtime. I'm going to get HBO. You, I'm not going to get HBO Plus or whatever. Or whatever these things different is, right? Paramount Plus and all of these different apps, right? Fast forward 2024. Everybody house that I go to, they got every one of the fucking apps. All of them, right? And them shits all cost $9. Everybody got an app. They pay monthly. Different shows. Disney Plus. Paramount. Um, they got all that shit. If you don't have it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have it. It feels crazy that you don't have these. And then somebody will say. Man you got to get such and such. So you can watch. Right? But with the music business. When the music business was put on these streams. They acted like. They were acting like. 
people weren't going to subscribe. Now that we see people are subscribing, YouTube should stop posting the albums for free. This is this is what I believe. You know, when an album comes out, as soon as the album drops, right? As soon as the album drops. As soon as the album comes out on Friday morning or whatever it is, you can go to YouTube. And you only have to do you only have to go to Apple Music, you don't have to go to Spotify. You can go to YouTube and type in the artist's name and their whole album pops up. To me, that's bullshit. Like, that's just that's just robbery. It's like it don't even make no sense. And YouTube, YouTube, they have it's very easy for them to just shut that down and just be like, you know. If an album comes out, post the album. This free album shit don't need to be out here no more. If you want the album, you should click it and buy it. Same thing with the, the streaming sites. Because the streaming sites built this. They built their platforms believing that you, the people, didn't want albums no more. And all you wanted to pay for was singles. We're past that. You guys are showing that you're paying for movies. You're paying for subscriptions month to month um all it ain't none of these apps going out of business you realize that none of these subscription places they all are flourishing every one of them and i'm saying i was one of the guys that was saying this like man i got direct tv what the f i need paramount plus for and what did my mom gets paramount plus and there's like people in your house you know what i'm saying everybody got a different thing People are buying this shit. People are spending their money. But when it comes to the music business, motherfuckers always want to keep trying to act like don't nobody want to spend money. Now, so then what the artists do, the artists start going on, on tour because that's where the artist is showing. That's where the artist is showing that the people that listen to the music want to pay the money. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.